Hey, hello and welcome to today's GFG problem of the day. Hope you are doing well. So let's say today's problem play with all. So today's problem is a very easy problem. Okay. So we will be given an array, right? And what we want to do is we want to do the bitwise or of every element with its next element. Okay. So that is ith element with the i plus one element. We have to uh, calculate the bitwise or and store in the ith element in the ith position. Okay. So we want to do bitwise or of 10 and 11, then 11 and one, right? And this and this and this and this in this way. Okay. Except for the last element, we cannot do the bitwise or because we don't have the next element, right? So we'll have to keep this element as it is. Okay. So now, so what do we mean by bitwise or, right? So in terms of, for example, the, if there's a bit zero, right? Zero and zero, zero or zero, it gives us what? Zero. Zero or one bit, it gives us one, right? One or zero bit, it gives us one. One or one, it gives us one. Okay. So anywhere where the where there's a set bit, that is one bit. Okay. We'll have the result will be one. Okay, now let's say if you want to do bitwise or of this, right? Two and three. So what it will be? So, so what is the binary representation of two? Zero, zero, one, zero. The binary representation of three, zero, zero, one, one, right? So let's do bitwise or of these two numbers. One, zero, uh, bitwise or zero, bit, uh, zero or one, 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 zero, zero. So it will be three. So we have to store three in this place, right? So 10, so 10 bitwise, uh, 10 or 11, it will give us 11 only. 11 or one, it will give us 11. One or two, it will give us uh, uh, three, for example, zero, zero, one, zero, 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 one, right? Zero, zero, one, zero, right? So one, so this is a binary representation of one, binary representation of two, one, zero, zero. So yes, so that is what is given three, right? For this three and this element will be as it is three. Okay. Okay. So let's implement the code. Let's write the Java code. Both the code will be similarly Java and C++, int i equal to. So I would request before implementing the code, please subscribe to my channel, like the video. Okay, so why n minus one? Because uh, for the last element, we have to keep it as it is, right? Because we don't have the next element for. Okay, so simply return the same array. Okay, return the same array. Let's compile it. And just run it. Just submit it. Okay, the solution seems to be accepted. Okay, let's quickly see this. It's almost safe. No change in C++ code, okay? So yes, so please subscribe to my channel, like the video. Have a happy, healthy and a great day. Thank you so much.